So in this video, I'm demonstrating the use of uh, uh, ribbon particles, basically trails, and uh, you can see I attached them. The whole point of this tutorial is how you can attach them by code to different parts of your character. So in this example, I'm attaching <laughs> the character's feet and just romping around. Notice how long they are. I I actually can uh, tell you in the tutorial how to make them so long. Let's <laughs> go over here. And I hope you like my landscape. I've been working hard on these landscapes. Let's see, let's get a nice dark spot. So, that's kind of dark. Let's go over here. Um, no, I need more room. That's the sort effect I'm going to demonstrate more soon. Ah, here's the spot I was looking for. Okay, so, so those are the feet trails, as you've seen. And I'm actually going to, I'm giving you the, um, the UDK asset for these uh, ribbon trails for the feet because it took me a really long time to figure out how to make these blasted things work. Now that I finally got them working, I'm going to help you all out and give you the asset for it. There's a few tricks you need to know to get it working. And uh, now here's the sword, sword swings. So in this case, The ribbon particle is attached to the sword tip. Just make it nighttime, make it easy. Right, let's go back to the beginning. <laughs> so the the ribbon trail also gives you a very good sense of the, the direction of the sword as it's swinging. Let's look at this from above. <laughs> and you can turn like that. <laughs> so, this will also, ribbon trails will also be useful for visualizing the detection system and seeing if the detection system is actually matching what the ribbon trail is saying the sword is doing. <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little hard to see with the with the human eye, but the ribbon trail tells all. <laughs> Let's get a different angle here. See so that facing either facing it. <laughs> it's a little bright. Okay, there we go. Uh, a different side. There we go. So look at that motion. So one swing. <laughs> There's two different swings that sort of randomly get chosen between. So those are ribbon trails attached to the the sword and also the feet. Although the feet ones seem to have disappeared somehow. I actually think I know how they did. I'll get them back uh, at a later date. Actually, it kind of makes it easier when I'm trying to illustrate with the sword. I was actually having a problem earlier. Couldn't really tell what the sword was doing because the feet were getting in the way. But you saw them earlier, and I'll get them back later. But in the meantime, oh, let's see if we can get a different angle here. Why not it's like straight facing, but like while running at the camera? <laughs> So you can imagine a little less dramatized, perhaps this could be a great special effect, or it could just be massive loads of fun as I'm having with these things, I'm telling you. And I'm actually uh, interrupting the sequence and, f and swinging again before it's done, and then you can create all sorts of interesting patterns. <laughs> you get pretty wild with it. At some point, you go... You leave sword combat and you enter artistic expression. <laughs> Painting with pretty colors. <laughs> so that is, I'm giving you the art asset to get you started with doing this yourself, and I'm showing you the code for how to attach these things to your pawn, to your uh, custom character. 
So, I hope you like the demonstration, and I uh, hope you find the code and the art asset useful. Enjoy! <laughs> what does it look like in rainbow mode? Oh, god! Gotta keep that up for a second. Let's see, let's make it uh, nighttime. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, it already is nighttime. Let's make it daytime. No, let's make it nighttime. Wow. Maybe nighttime is better, yeah, and when it's daytime. Oh, wow. It's pretty wild, doesn't it? <laughs> Well, anyway, that's the. You're gonna see the tutorial shortly. Enjoy! <laughs>